Hi, welcome back. We're here today uh, working with our white cabinet that we've painted with Waverly chalk paint. And today we're going to be embellishing it with some decoupage embellishments. So while I was painting this cabinet, I did decide that I wanted to do something with the shelves. And so while I was painting, I did a little distressed pink work in here on this bottom shelf. And I'm really not pleased with how that turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and decoupage over these three shelves. And it's a great embellishment for any project. And it's really easy to do. So we'll show you what we'll be using today. We're going to be using Mod Podge glue. And some people use this glue to seal their um, finished chalk paint prod projects. We're going to be using it today for a traditional uh, decoupage element. And we are going to be using a small brush and our water spritzer. And for the element we're putting down, I got some really nice shelf, or I'm sorry, drawer paper. So this is actually scented. It smells really good. And it's a great complement um, with the colors that we chose for this project with the pink ballet slipper and the agave. So that's what we're going to be putting in each one of these surfaces. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start just by moistening our brush a little bit with a little spritz of the water and work that into your brush. Decoupage enhancements can be put anywhere on your project. You can put it on shelves, you can put it on the back, you can put one here. Um, some people put them in large spaces um, to decorate um, the front or side of a project. So it's very versatile. So now we're just getting into our glue and we're gonna start by just getting a little glue. Working it into the brush a little bit and then adding it here. on the shelf. And I'm working kind of quickly because you don't want it to dry. I'm getting really good into the edges because I really want those to stick down well. So once you get this on, Now we're going to place our shelf paper. And this is a little bit of a challenge. Make sure you look at your shelf paper and that is in the right direction. I know I've gotten mine on backwards before and it bugs me for the whole time. <laughs> All right, so I'm just starting at one side and then laying it down. and pressing it into the corners, smoothing out any wrinkles or bubbles as I go. And that went on fairly well, nice and flat. I'm gonna give you a close-up look at that. And now we'll finish that by adding some more Mod Podge right over the top. Again, work it into your brush. I'm going to start in the corners along this seam. Get it in there really well and in the back corner. And along this front seam so it seals it down nicely. And then just going over the top of it. And this is looking a little milky. Um, as you can see, it looks a little milky over here where the glue is, but that will dry clear and you'll never see it. So again, just working my brush into this corner and along the edge and this front edge, especially too, to seal it down.
So it's really easy to work with. You don't have to worry about being uh, really detailed in your painting or laying it down. It just goes right on. Doing it in the edges real quick again, in the corners. And that's all set. I'm going to show you a close up of that. And you can see the glue and the milkiness, and all that will dry clear and hard and seal that all down. So now we're going to go ahead and do this on this shelf and this shelf. Again, starting in the corners along the seams. And just adding the glue. To the surface of the shelf. You want to get enough on that your whatever you're putting down sticks to it quite nicely. And we put it down. So again, looking at our paper, making sure it's front facing, not upside down. And I'm going to start again over at this one side. Seem to work good. And start just placing it in the corner, in the back, and then spreading my hand across and flattening it out into the far corner. And you can kind of slide it around if you need to. And I'm just using my fingers to smooth out the bubbles or any bridges. Make sure it's really pressed into those corners. All right, let's show you what that looks like up close. And now you can see that one. Lays down really nicely. Just pressing down some of the seam here on the bottom one, where I see it popping up. All right, and now we're just gonna lay our glue over the top of that. Again, starting in the corner, going along the seam to the other corner. Being generous with the glue. And I'm making sure I get this front edge. Getting into the corner along the seam, down to the other corner. and then across the front edge. This one's uh, stepped down really, really good. All right, I'll let you see that. We'll see what that looks like. Again, it looks milky with the glue on top, but that will dry clear. All right, and we have one more to go on our top shelf.
I'm going to get a new camera angle. You can see that shelf a little bit better. There you go. All right. My brush is just a little dry, so I'm going to give it a quick spritz. And into the glue. Starting in the corner, moving along the left seam to the back corner and along that edge, and then working it from left to right, getting it nicely along the front. And back along the seams into the corner. Really want to make sure those edges stick down nicely, the front and the side edges. So just really concentrate your glue on those areas. And that's good to go. Here is our drawer paper. And we're gonna look at it, make sure the pattern is facing forward. So we want it like that, as opposed to like that. And again, we're gonna start over in this corner. You can kind of slide it around, slide it into place. And then I'm just using my hand to smooth it out. and press it into the other corners. And then also smoothing along the front edge. Gonna press that down, went down really nicely, no wrinkles. Press it along the front. And now we're gonna lay our glue down on top of it. Starting in that front corner, moving along the seam to the back corner, working it in. And along the front edge. Working along the back seam. And then moving left to right. Laying down the school. Again, really working it into those seams and into the corner. And then just spreading the glue out. Making sure I cap that front edge. Tapping off this front edge with the glue. Make sure it stays. All right, and that's looking good. Show you a close-up of that. There's our top shelf. And you can see the three shelves there. How much pattern and elegance that adds to our piece. And we will be continuing to work on the project. So thanks for tuning in and watch for more later. Thanks.